Yo, what's cracking, guys? You read that title correctly. Tyrae's new romance, 90 Day The Single Life. Who's Tyrae? He's a big virgin, 33-year-old big fat black guy, has not gotten any pussy, probably won't. This is a longer episode, so we're just going to hop right into this. I love Tyrae in, like, a bad way. He sucks. He's never going to fuck. Let's find out, shall we? <laughs> My brothers and I are here in New Orleans for a boys trip. Gay. Yesterday, I went on my first real date with Teresa. She's recently divorced, so I understand she's not ready for a relationship. His first date. Dude, he asked this chick, he's like, do you want to hang out and maybe talk more? And she's like, yeah. He's like, this is going to be a great date. I wonder if she thinks it's a date. We only just met. I'm moving forward. I'm working towards my goals of meeting my first. You know, my first dates, you know, my first kiss, my first... What, the first woman you're actually going to be able to smell with consent? Real love connection after Carmella. If you're wondering who Carmella is, he got catfished by a guy. Carmella doesn't even exist. Unless that was one of the other whores he went on a date with that didn't like him at all. Cheers. Cheers. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Good night. I'm making extreme progress in getting out of my comfort zone. The old Tyree would definitely not have approached Teresa at all. I would have definitely just <laughs> been out in the corner. Out in the corner, just lurking, staring at her. I wouldn't have had the confidence to walk up to her. You didn't. You didn't walk up to her. You had your homie walk up with you and go, hey, ladies, you want to talk to this fat guy? <laughs> with my drink. So tonight, I'm going to go out and just try to put myself out there a little more. <laughs> California. I came out here for a boy shit. Gay. Also, this looks like the worst fucking time ever. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my fucking God, dude. This is like a speed dating mixer thing. This bitch has a name tag that says single. Oh my fuck. If you're there alone and not single, why are you there? You guys from out here? You got some out here? I'm oh, from Maryland. Oh, hey. Down here, I got my undergrad and master's here. Huh? Wow, so you're pretty smart, huh? You want to kiss me? I hate what's going on here. I would be having the worst fucking time of my life. Shitty music, shitty people. I haven't seen one hot girl in this area. Ty Ray has the nicest tits in the building. What's your name? Ty Ray. Ty Ray. Ty Ray. Ty Ray. Yeah. Raina. Raina. All right. Thank nice. you. Oh, she touched his shoulder. Does she want to fuck, ladies? Does that mean she wants to fuck him? I have no idea. I know nothing about women. <laughs> this girl is on the dance floor, dancing like her life depends on it. She's the life of the party. All eyes are on her. <laughs> yeah. All eyes are on her because she's so hot, not because of this. Yeah, I'd be staring at her too. She's the life of the party. Shut the fuck up, dude. God, this man will glorify literally any woman that will talk to him. Including mine. <laughs> All right, we go talk outside. Oh. God, am I sweaty? Yeah, it's kind of fucking gross, actually. Here's some deodorant. Now, me too. <laughs> Look at all of us. Man, I sweat all day. Anyway, so, to do for work. Eat. No, I'm a lol cow on 90 Day Fiance. Have you have you heard of 90 Day Fiance? That's why there's cameras following me. No, I'm not a rapper. If I was, I would have had sex by now. Uh, nothing right now. I take care of my mom. She got sick. Oh, oh yeah, thank you. You know what would help with my mom being sick? A little bit of sympathy, pussy. My mom was really sick too. It's a lot. Stress one. Yeah. How old are you? Uh, 33. How old am I? I fucking do. Women, why do you do this? How old am I? Better say the right answer. The guy's just gonna lie. Oh, you're 22, aren't you? Oh, could have fooled me. 22? Men are so fucking predictable. Holy shit. Uh, 25. 23? No, okay, higher. 24? Oh, okay. All right, yeah. Here you go. You still young. Barely, buddy. She doesn't look a day over 40. Raina's really pretty. Her hair really stood out to me, and she's thick. 
like, oh, that's interesting. See, he sees her body type as thick. I mean, comparatively, yeah. She's in great shape compared to Tyrae. I think thick girls are it girls. And she is hot. <laughs> Maybe we can hang out tomorrow. Yeah? Or Sunday. I'm fine. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm free all day. Yeah, no shit, you're on vacation. I got a lot of things planned with my boys for the boys trip. We're going to Six Flags. I think Tyrae is a ball of sunshine. She looks naked in this, gross. A ray of sunshine. I think he's more of a black hole, just sucking in all of the calories in a tri-state area. I feel like we click really nicely. When I first saw him, I just want to give him a big hug. That's not a good sign to me. I just want to give him a big hug because he's a big, comfy teddy bear. But I hit you up, baby. Yes, all right. Help me to change it. I won't, I promise. Ooh, the little scratching on the back. That would have made my dick flutter. Well, not if it was her, but you get what I'm saying. I feel like he's like a really genuine person, which is like really hard to find nowadays. So that was really nice. I'm gonna say, I feel like the ball's in his court. Nice to see you Oh, I'm not doing it. Do it, just try it. Oh, no, no. Wait, if you're both staying at the same place, I think he's just scared of continuing talking to her because he thinks he's gonna fuck it up. So he's prolonging it to seeing her tomorrow. Why don't you just hang out with her, keep drinking, and then fuck her tonight, bro? She's about it. She ain't got nothing better to do. You got a number, at least? Yeah, I got her contact. I'm gonna hit her up. Hi. What's up? <laughs> Good, how you doing? <laughs> Good. So hot. Right. <laughs> Are your friends with you for this? Wow, you have terrible friends. Let him go on the date by himself. Oh, yeah, those guys are also trying to get pussy, so they show that if one of their friends can get pussy, other women are more likely to throw them pussy. I get what they're doing. Last night, I met Raina at the bar, and I was really into her, so I gave her my number. Raina invited me to a house party. I like the idea of meeting at a party. It kind of takes the pressure off a formal date. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it takes the pressure off being a formal date. You still think this is a date? I feel so bad for women. Women just going out to parties and guys thinking they're on dates with them. Holy shit. And I just want to kind of get, you know, a sense of her personality, you know, what her goals are, what she's looking for, you know, because I don't know much about her. Why do you want to know all that? Why don't you just want to have sex with her? I don't get this. Why do you want to find love so bad? I think you should find uh, someone who's willing to fuck you first. Maybe just keep casually dating, get your heart broken a little bit. Because you're way behind, dude. You should have had three heartbreaks by 33. And then I feel like after that, I can kind of take it to the next step. Hey, this was fun, though. Like, the city is beautiful. Yeah. Everyone's nice and friendly. Everyone's super Different friendly. Vibes. You know, once everybody starts calling you baby everywhere yeah. you go, that's how you know you're good. Right. You're not in the South unless an old lady calls you baby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wow, I would hate talking to her. Oh, that's how I know I'm doing good. They go, baby. How's it going, sugar? <laughs> oh, man. So what made you want to invite me out tonight? Well, believe it or not, I want to fuck you. I thought you were cool. I thought you were pretty, too. I like your personality. Oof. Your voice. <laughs> I got you. But I'm glad you did, though. You know, I know you're not from here, so I wanted to show you a little bit. This is a more relaxed version. You were on bourbon last night, so you know. Yeah, it was wild. Yeah, this is cool. I like the vibe. I like the vibe. You guys are just in a backyard. Are there other people there? He's lucky he has these cameras on him for his safety. But like, you like the vibe? The vibe is awesome. You are fly. Should I start looking at apartments out here? Definitely. No. <laughs> Do it. Actually. You're fly. Dude has no sense of style whatsoever. And in 2024, a fat guy can have style, okay? It's not just the big and tall section at TJ Maxx anymore. Probably not, because I'm probably gonna be yeah. gone before you know. <laughs> and the blink of an eye. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna disappear. Yeah. But I feel like when you look too hard, that's when you miss things. Yeah, true. You just gotta true. like, just let it come naturally. I I don't think he's gonna pick up on how good a free game that was. It does seem like when you try and get a girlfriend, that's when you're not. It's like they can pick up on the pussy wanting energy, you know? I feel like I haven't had a lot of good relationships in life, but I feel like all my good relationships came from just me like chilling and everything came unexpectedly. Wow, I've never had a relationship before. Can you describe what that feeling is like to me? Thanks. What about you? I'm just trying to see what is it, you know, I'm looking for, or like, or, you know what I mean? It's kind of new. I'm just trying to see, like, what is it I'm looking for? I don't know, you know what I mean? Or, uh, do I tell her I got catfished and was actually dating a guy for four years? Experiences. Yeah. Talking to people. Yeah. 
I think she can tell that you are hiding something and being a little deceptive right now. Where'd you get these beads? Do you want them? The beads? Yeah. You want to give them to me? Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> you got to do something to get them. Oh. Oh. Yikes, dude. Wow, dude. You chill. You're gonna have to suck me off to completion for these beads. And yeah, for these dollar store beads, you know you're gonna have to do something. That's really fucking bold for a guy who's never kissed a girl before. You're gonna have to show me your boobies. It seemed like when she asked him if he wants to give them to her, he was like, uh, he's like, is this what sex is? <laughs> what? <laughs> She hit him with the, what? Hey, say that again? Oh, I love things like this so much. Oh my God. You can only experience things for the first time once. I don't take these moments for granted. God, that is so cringe. You're gonna have to be my girlfriend if you want these beads. <laughs> They're editing this in a way to make him seem weirder, right? Because I guarantee you she was talking every time he went, <laughs> but I do like that they're making him look like more of a creepy fucking loser, but. Huh? You sit on my face? On the cheek? The funny thing about my cheek is it's located on my balls. Yes, I'm fully aware I stole that joke premise from a movie, okay. That'll cheek. work, that'll work. Can I have them now? That's how I kiss my aunt when I was like 12, dude. Mwah. Thanks for the birthday gift. All right, I guess so. Yay! Earned them. And it stuck in my head. <laughs> she was like, thank God I didn't have to jerk this guy off like the last one. I put him on right. Oh, snap. No, you good. Ooh, there we go. I was hoping to kiss Raina on her lips, but it was a little awkward. A little awkward? That was about all of the awkwardness in the world for that moment. Not another person on this planet had an awkward moment in that moment. All of the awkwardness was yours. That was a little soon for a little, hey, thanks for bringing me to this party. You wanna kiss me on the face now? I get that if you wanted to, you probably would be showing signs that you want to, but you want these beads, bitch? This is like, <laughs> I don't wanna come on too strong or not strong enough. I don't know if I should make the first move. I don't know if I should kind of wait for her to do it. I would say in this climate, just let her take the reins, dog. I'm good. You know what? I'm just going to assume she doesn't want to fuck me. And most of the time, I'm right. So that's like what's running through my mind right now. I want the first kiss to, to be fireworks, you know, while we're kissing. I want it to be intimate. I want it to, to make us connect. Well, you're the only guy that could make hooking up with a woman gay. I want there to be fireworks, sparks flying. Dude, your expectations are way too fucking high. Imagine when he has sex and he's like, wow, my hand does a better job. I wanna, I want, I wanna be in love. I wanna feel love. I wanna be around love. Well, it doesn't wanna be around you. <laughs> Get fucked. No, wait, you can't. Actually, we're going to make this a two-part episode because if I do the second half of this and have to edit all of this today, I will simply kill myself. That 38-minute film Cooper video took me forever, dude. Watch that if you haven't. It's pretty good. He sucks. Um, okay, recap. Ty Ray. Big loser dork. Yeah, it's never going to work. If you want these beads, you must complete the quest of kissing me. Like as if that's what he wanted for his first kiss. He wanted there to be fireworks for the first kiss, but then wanted to trade a first kiss for beads, which would have been a quick kiss. This man's an idiot. I mean, they look like a match made in heaven, but just wait till she sees more of his fucking personality or lack thereof. His whole personality is... <laughs> He laughs like a white dude who always has ketamine on him. You guys think he's gonna fuck this bitch? Okay, comment down below. Let me know what you think of his love life. Is it ever gonna work? No. Will he have to get a hooker? He should, he's on vacation. Boys trip, you guys aren't going to the strip club? 
Oh, go to the strip club. And now look, the hot women have to talk to you. It's their job. And they're naked. Win-win. But thank you guys so much for watching. It fucking means the absolute world to me. If you want to support this channel further, like if you like the swear words and find them to be refreshing, because I don't bleep them out, because every other YouTuber on earth is a pussy, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy, because YouTube doesn't fucking like it. It makes videos perform less well, makes them not be monetized. But censoring myself for money kind of goes against every single thing I believe in. So if we want to keep it uncensored, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. I'm also thinking of starting to do like a moto vlog on Patreon. I got to get the equipment for it, but I could see that being fun. So like I said, if you want to support further, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. But if you can't or don't want to, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. I fucking love you guys. Mwah.